All right. Well, it's been, God, I think it started in 2012, like hardcore, but probably since I graduated college in 2010, where I've been trying to make it online and nothing ever stuck um i never like went balls to the wall all in and as i grow older i realize that if 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 it's not your top priority in in your current life situation more than likely it's not going to happen and throughout the early years I cared so much more about the vanity metric and the cool factor of having a lot of followers Um, and I didn't understand really how to get followers the right way and The reason why I want to start fresh now is because I'm kind of really now grown into the person who I want to be. Um, Fast forward 13 years later, I'm a father. I am someone who has been a fitness professional for over a decade. I have worked in luxury gyms, big box gyms, been a top 100 personal trainer in sales and sessions performed for many years consecutively. I've been up for Master Instructor of the Year. Uh, I've taught curriculums for trainers. I've created curriculums for trainers. I've made it on my own post-COVID. I've grown that into um, running my own business outside a gym. I've built my house from a hundred year old hundred year old home to a more modern and modern and contemporary home that my family and I love. Uh it's been grueling but it's It's something that I know I'll look back on and greatly appreciate the time spent. There had been crazy difficult times through my career and through this house that in that moment in time were extremely frustrating. Um, but I've learned from every one of those moments and the reason why I am kind of restarting this vlog idea is because I do feel like other people can relate. Um, and because I, I now understand that I, I want to, I want to help others and I feel like I have a voice so yeah well I don't know where to really start but my niche is design and 
fitness. And through working with my incredible clients, I've gotten lucky enough to be introduced to some extremely decorated architecture and design firms. And because my clients know how obsessed I am with building my own home, They've asked me for advice and recommendation on their homes. Their homes are 30 times the price of my home. And I'm extremely grateful. Um, But what that's done is allowed me to now consult on gym design for luxury residential homes and I'm being introduced to new people every year and I don't know where it's going to take me but I kind of have a plan in my head on what I think it could be and I kind of debate if I want to kind of work in the darkness and no one knows or kind of just build in public so that other people can see and relate. And I'm kind of leaning towards that building in public. Because I think it's more fun. My my thought and plan is, and it's it's hard because these homes are so large that the project doesn't get finished for two to three years. So whenever people reach out and ask me for my portfolio or my design work I kind of have to send them renderings or you know just drawings of things or ideas because I just started and none of it's actually done Um, but what I'd like to do is to build a portfolio of a couple of gyms And then from there, start to promote myself to other architecture firms as a consultant. Uh, All while continually personal training with my core clientele. Um, And then maybe on the side, maybe come up with a product um, that I love, that I think is valuable to have and I don't know what that is I mean it could be it could be anything from like a book holder or a lamp or something um and do like limited releases and like only order a thousand and sell out quick hopefully I don't know And then do that like two to three times a year and just kind of have that triangle of coach, design, and create. And then hopefully bring you guys along. Um, I'm obsessed with design. I don't go a day without looking at how I can make my house cooler or more detailed Um, and it hurts my pockets and my wallet but it's fun Um, 
so that's kind of my thought. That's what I'd like to do. I don't really know where this is going to go. Um, with the fitness aspect of it, my goal, I think, for 24 is to just do this more often and start talking about maybe a little bit deeper dive into client conversations and how I coach my clients. Um, I'm lucky enough that I have a solid core group of clientele that I've had for a long time. Sprinkle in some new clients here and there. Um, but ultimately, my all of my clients have been largely successful with the style of coaching that I do. And I'm ready to help everyone out. And I want to show you guys um, some more insight on how I do that. So my goal is to hopefully bring forth um, some more tips and tricks on how I help with help my clients and kind of go from there. It's not going to be like what I used to think that would bring me a lot of followers. It's just like show workout videos or uh, like exercises or try and motivate. Um, I got to tell you, I am a tired, tired parent and I am on the parent team. And I understand and realize how difficult it is to be a parent. Being a parent is the hardest thing on earth. Besides being a parent and being fit and healthy. Maintaining being fit and healthy whilst not sleeping through the night ever, while always being on when your kids are awake, while coming home being tired from a work day to then help take care of your kids, that's hard. That's that's extremely hard. And I feel as if my wife Sam and I have a solid grip on how to do that, how to maintain that, how to find your season on when you're motivated, how to... Not make it feel like you are always on the uphill battle. And to help with that snowball effect of, you know, keeping momentum on that healthy fit front. So I guess that's my goal on the fitness and health department for this channel um i didn't really know where i was going with this with with this video but if you love home design and decor and fucking gym design if you love health and fitness and the the constant struggle of being a fit parent in 2024 I'm your guy and um, I guess like and subscribe I don't know we'll see what happens till next time thanks guys